Martin, here's an example of a remediation site. Containment has been put up, an air, HEPA air scrubber has been put in place, and the floors have been covered. This is to prevent any spreading of the mold during the remediation process. And what's that machine down on the front right-hand corner, John? That is the HEPA air scrubber. That filters the air of any contaminants down to the microns. And it has a, a high-density HEPA filter in there, an industrial-grade HEPA filter that's filtering out these contaminants as the air is going through it? Absolutely. And then that HEPA filter has to be bagged and thrown away so it doesn't contaminate any other areas before it's removed from this, from this area. Is that right? Absolutely. Fantastic. Let's take a look at just one more, John, if you have a few minutes for us. Yes. Okay, Martin, here's a picture of a remediation site after it's been encapsulated. As you can see, it's painted completely white. Is this ordinary paint I can go down and buy from Home Depot? Absolutely not. This is an EPA registered product. It's called an antifungal encapsulant or oh. primer. So it's a special paint, and I presume it's a lot more expensive than a regular paint because it has all these special things inside it to prevent mold. Absolutely. Okay, Martin, here's a picture of confirmed stachybotrys. What's stachybotrys? That sounds dangerous. Stachybotrys is the one that they talk about in the news the most. This is what they consider black mold. Ah, so that's the stuff that could really get you sick. Yes. This is the stuff that we're most concerned about when we do our testing. Okay, so if we see that, then that needs to be handled immediately with some, some, some very strict protocols that you, you, that you devise. Yes, sir. Any detection of this particular mold is considered an abnormal condition. Simply because you see stachybotrys, do you have to report that to the state, or is it only under certain circumstances you've got to report? Only under certain circumstances. Well, John, thank you so much for your time coming in today and telling us a little bit about what you do as a mold hygienist. And I guess the real end of the bottom line is, hey, if you've got a problem with mold, you need to call in a licensed mold hygienist to test it, find out exactly what you're up against. All right, Martin. Well, thank you for having me down here. I've been happy to help. Absolutely, and if people can actually contact you direct because you are an independent licensed multi-hygienist. Thank you again, John, for coming down and seeing us. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. You have a great day.